Hey guys, so um, I just wanted to make a quick video to finally introduce my baby to you. He has <laughs> hiccups right now. Um, he tends to get them after almost every feed, and I'm not sure why, but it's really silly. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I'm sorry it's taken me a while <clears throat> to get back to you guys after uh, I gave birth, but things have been crazy, as I'm sure you can understand. And I will make... Um, my two-week postpartum video in a few days. Um, I'm 11 days postpartum today, so I'll do it at 14 days. And um, then Phil and I will do a labor and delivery story for you guys as well. Um, but yeah, this is my baby. We named him Ronan. Um, we picked that name because it's one of the rare names um, special. It's found in both Hebrew and in Gaelic, so it represents my heritage and Phil's heritage. Um, in Hebrew, Ronin means song of joy, and in Gaelic, it means little seal, like the animal. So we thought it was cute, and yeah, this is him. He weighed uh, eight pounds when he was born. He's a big boy. He's getting weighed for the first time um, since birth today. My midwife is coming. Um, and yeah, I had a really, really crazy... Uh, labor and delivery that went very differently from what I had expected, which in a way was expected because uh, you can't really uh, have your heart set on anything when it comes to having a baby. Um, but everything turned out really well, and uh, I guess I'll just say I did end up um, delivering her vaginally, um, and everything's fine. I'm doing a combination of breast and bottle feeding. Um, because I had a breast reduction when I was 18, I don't make quite enough milk to feed him, um, exclusively from the breast. But basically what I do is during the day I breastfeed him and at night I give him a bottle. And, uh, so far it's working out well. He's starting to get chubby. He has rolls on his legs now. <laughs> don't you? Yeah, you're, you're funny. <clears throat> He's a really good baby. He really only cries when he's hungry. He's very patient. Um, when the midwife came to do the heel, prick, the heel prick test, to take blood from his heel, he didn't cry at all. Um, and uh, yeah, Phil and I got really, really lucky. Um, as long as we sleep between his feeds at night and take a nap during the day, um, we get a decent amount of sleep. Right? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um... Yeah, things are good. As of uh, five days postpartum, I was um, eight pounds away from my pre-pregnancy weight, and right now I'm about five pounds away. Um, I was not expecting to be one of the lucky ones to lose my weight so quickly. Um, but yeah, I don't have a whole lot of work left to do, and in a few weeks when I can start exercising again, the rest should go. Yeah. So, um, I'll yeah, speak to you guys soon for two weeks postpartum in a few days and then Phil and I will do our labor and delivery story. And right now I've got to comfort this poor little guy through the rest of his hiccups. So uh, yeah, talk to you guys soon. Bye.